Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to look into SPFX development overview. So let's look into the topics. What are the topics we are going to cover in this session? So guys, in this session, we are going to cover these topics. The first topic where we are going to discuss about SharePoint development evaluation history. So to understand the development evaluation history, we need to look into this diagram. So guys, if you closely look into the diagram, it will give you an idea about how the SharePoint custom development evolved through the years. In the year 2007, the SharePoint product was known as Microsoft Office SharePoint Server that is called MOS. In MOS, full trust solution is deployed at farm level also known as farm solution which is basically server side programming using C Sharp. And at the year 2010, Microsoft revamped the entire product and introduced many new elements in SharePoint 2010. In this version of SharePoint, Microsoft introduced sandbox solution and client side object model concept and the client side object model development which we were doing using C Sharp as well as JavaScript client side object model that is called JSON. This is the beginning of an era where we started development remotely. So that means from the client application, we were able to communicate to the SharePoint and get the things done. Now in the year 2013, Microsoft come up with SharePoint 2013 where they have introduced apps concept and we call it as add-in models where we are developing mainly provider as well as hosted apps. Next in the year 2016, the era of SPFX development begins in SharePoint. Actual SPFX development started from SharePoint 2016. Then onward, SPFX is used used for SharePoint online custom development and for this course we are going to use the SPFX framework for custom development on SharePoint online. So guys this is what I wanted to discuss with you in this session. In the next session we will discuss about what are the tool set needed for SPFX development and we will do the comparison what was used earlier while doing the development in SharePoint and what is currently being used for SPFX development. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.